I'm Sarah Peretsky, and I'm here with my novel, Hardball, which features my Chicago detective, V.I. Warshawski. V.I. and I go back, oh gosh, over 20 years. She was really the first of the women private investigators. Now they're, they're an enormous sea of women PIs, but when she came along, she was quite the pioneer. Hardball is the 13th novel in the series that I've written about her, and in it, V.I. makes a rather painful journey to the past, to hidden stories that are in her family that she never knew about. V.I.'s father was a Chicago police sergeant, and during the turbulent 60s, when Chicago was torn apart by major race riots, he was one of the 10,000 police officers on duty in the parks and streets keeping order between whites and blacks as riots broke out. V.I. always has idolized her father, who's been dead a number of years now. But in Hardball, as she begins a search for a man who's been missing for 40 years, she finds that the quest takes her back into things that she really would rather not know about her own family, about the neighborhood that her father grew up in, and about relations among the Chicago police, Chicago politics, and the African-American community on Chicago's South Side. The title Hardball, baseball has always been a part of my life. I grew up in the country. I grew up playing hardball in a rural league. I was terrible, but that's another story. Uh, but I'm a huge supporter of, of professional baseball in Chicago. And, uh, but hardball really refers to the fact that, that that is the name of the game in Chicago politics. It is not a place for amateurs. I'm really in love with stories. I think my one of my earliest memories is beginning to tell myself a story at night when I went to bed, a story set in an alternate reality than the one I inhabited. I've always loved reading stories, hearing stories, telling stories. When I was growing up, I never imagined that I would be a professional writer or a professional anything. I grew up in a time and in a family and in a place where women had very narrowly constrained and defined roles. But I kept writing just because of my love of stories. I also have always loved reading crime fiction and when I was in my early 20s and first read Raymond Chandler, the Philip Marlowe novels, it struck me very forcibly how women in those novels, and really in most crime fiction, and really in most fiction, that women's roles are, are also very circumscribed. That a woman who was sexually active in Chandler or in much of fiction was the ultimate cause of everything that went wrong. You know, poor Eve in the Garden of Eden is the maybe our first literary exemplar of a sexually active woman getting blamed for everything that goes wrong. And crime fiction just happily picked up the thread of that story and followed it. I wanted to turn the tables on that view of women.